Welcome to lesson 6.2, use proportions to solve geometry problems. So in our last lesson, 6.1, we refreshed on some ratios, proportions, and the geometric mean. In this one, we are going to build off that idea of simplifying and solving proportions with some additional properties and looking at the way we can use them related to scale and scale drawings. So to begin with, we're gonna look at some vocabulary again. A scale drawing is a drawing that is the same shape as the object it represents. The scale is a ratio that describes how the dimensions in the drawing are related to the actual dimensions of an object. So if you think about something like the blueprints of a house, the blueprints of a house are a scale drawing for the actual house. Or a map. Maps have scales on them. A map is actually just a scale drawing of a geographical area. So then we have some additional properties of proportions to go with the one from 6.1. The first one we're looking at in this lesson is the reciprocal property, which states if A over B equals C over D, then B over A equals D over C. So the reciprocal property basically means we can flip the whole proportion and it is still equal. So we can switch the numerator and denominator on both and leave them equal to each other and it's still true. And then we have a third property here overall which states if a over b equals c over d then a over c equals b over d. So this one says we can switch B and C. So we can exchange diagonally B and C. And those would still be the same or equal proportions. And then in four, if we have A over B equals C over D, then A plus B over B equals C plus D over D. So what that property is saying is we can add the denominator to the numerator on each side and it's still true. So add B on top on the left, add D on top on the right. So these three properties plus our one proportional property from 6-1 are the main properties we're using in today's lesson. So let's look at a couple examples first on the left here of properties of proportions, and then we'll do two examples over here on the right. So first thing, in the diagram below, RU over US equals RV over VT. They want us to find the value of X. So they gave us a proportion, and they want us to find a missing piece. So if we look at example A, if we're looking for x, x is the distance for segment SU, or US. So we know, according to the original here, RU over US, so RU is 5, US is x, equals RV, which is 20, over VT, which is 8. So 5 over x equals 20 over 8. Then they flipped it, just showing the reciprocal property still works. You don't actually have to do that. And then you're going to cross multiply and divide. So five times eight equals 20 times X. Five times eight is 40. Divide both sides by the 20 to get X alone. And X equals two. For part B to find the value of X, X is this whole segment RS. We have US, which is 4, RV, which is 3, and VT, which is 6. So again, our given proportion was RU over US equals RV over VT. Now in this one, we're going to use the fourth property in order to solve, meaning because X is this whole segment RS, we need to add RU to US 
to get that whole distance. So we're using property four to do this setup. So RU plus US over US equals RV plus VT over VT. So this whole segment right there. So what that would become when we substitute is X over four equals three plus six over six. So in this case, four times the three plus six is 36, which same as four times nine. And then that would equal six X. So 36 equals six X, divide both sides by six, and X equals six. So then let's look at this diagram over here for two additional examples. In this diagram, we know JM over ML equals KN over NL. So that's our given proportion. So first thing they want us to do is find JL. So JL is this whole segment, which is X. So we can have our initial setup because we need that whole segment. We would need to look at the JM over ML to start. And to get this whole segment, we would be adding LM to JM. So JM plus LM over LM equals KN here plus NL here over NL. So using property four again. So our setup then would be X over 10 equals 33 over 15. Then we're going to cross multiply. So 33 times 10 is 330. 15 times X, 15 X. Divide both sides by 15 and X equals 22. And then in part B to find JM. In this case, JM here is just the letter Y. So we'd have Y over ML, which is 10, equals KN, which is 18, over NL, which is 15. So Y over 10 equals 18 over 15, cross multiply. So 15Y equals 180, divide by the 15, and that missing piece, JM, is 12 units long. And now we're going to look at the idea of scale drawings. First, to find a scale of a drawing, and then how do we use the scale to our advantage? So in our first example here, we're looking at a highway scenario. It says a highway on a map is 9 inches long. Our actual highway is 36 miles long. What is the scale of the map? So to find the scale, we're going to write the ratio of the length on the map to an actual length. Then rewrite the ratio so the denominator is 1, meaning simplify that. So in this case, the initial setup would be the length on the map over the length of the actual highway. So in this case, 9 inches over 36 miles. It was 9 inches on the map, 36 miles in real life. So then in this case, we want it to be out of 1. So we're going to divide both top and bottom by the value of the denominator, which is 36. That leaves us with 0 0.25 inches over 1 mile. So the scale of our map is 0 0.25 inches to one mile, meaning every quarter inch represents one mile in real life. So kind of the reverse idea of that is using a scale drawing. So if we look at the blueprint example here, it says an architect's blueprint of a floor plan for a new condominium has a scale of 1.5 centimeters to one foot. With a ruler, they measure the width of the kitchen on the blueprint to be about 22.5 centimeters. What is the actual width of that kitchen? So we're going to use X to represent what we're looking for, which is the actual width. So our setup on top, on both sides, would be the width on the blueprint, and on bottom is the actual width. 
So what we know on the blueprint is it was 22.5 centimeters. We want to know how many feet that really is. The other proportional setup is our scale, 1.5 centimeters over one foot. So then we want to solve for x by cross multiplying and dividing. So 1.5x equals 22.5, divide by the 1.5, and x equals 15. So what that tells us is the actual width of the kitchen is about 15 feet. So two examples here with scale. So in example A, it says a river on a map is 12.5 centimeters long. The actual river is 2.5 miles long. What is the scale of the map? So in this case, we want to, again, divide top and bottom by the denominator. So we know it's 12.5 centimeters on the map, 2.5 miles in real life. 12.5 divided by 2.5 is 5. 2.5 divided by itself on bottom is obviously 1. So what that tells us is our scale is 5 centimeters to 1 mile. So every 5 centimeters on the map is 1 mile in real life. And in part B, the blueprint example, we're looking back at it. It says in the blueprint example, the width of the actual living room is 22 feet. What's the width of the living room on the blueprint? So in this case, our blueprint was on top. So we're trying to figure out what that width was in centimeters. In real life, we knew it was 22 feet. So x over 22 equals, and we're going to use that scale from the blueprint example up here, where the scale was 1.5 centimeters to one foot. So that side is 1.5 centimeters over one foot. Cross multiply, 1.5 times 22 is 33, so 33 equals x. So that tells us on the blueprint, the living room's width is 33 centimeters.